or hey welcome doing a quad ride today just a solo ride by myself gonna cruise the quad go out to uh, four corners or Carroll Canyon um, it's just East County it's not too far from here it's probably about 50 minutes to the trail gonna unload some of this stuff because I don't need a, all the full camping gear today and um, just kind of enjoy the trail the weather's pretty good today so it should be it should be really good I'm gonna get some gas in it gonna get some of this gas in there I, um, drive my car when I drive my car to work I just get Costco gas that's next door to my work I um because there's no line in the mornings and the gas on my route to go and wheeling um, on this end of town is actually pretty pricey. So when I get a bunch of these cans, I usually save about $10 a run. So it's worth just gassing up at Costco instead of the expensive places on over here on my side of town. I'm just gonna dump this one can and I already have some in there. Yeah, this will probably save me about, I would say, $60 a month, which isn't much, but hey, it buys lunch, right? You know, and over a couple months, it gets you an extra trip. It's kind of like the frequent flyer card, because we got the closest gas station to me is a Shell, and currently it's scraping right at $6.99 a gallon. You know, and, and Costco is uh, still at like $5.60. So that's a huge difference. So this will get me where I want to go today. Now I got to do the car shuffle here this car out of here. get this guy out of here
All right, I gotta say bye to the family and be on the road. All right, ready to hit the road. I'm gonna top off my GoPro. I have a GoPro 8 that I used for the handheld unit because of the stabilization is really good. Um, but that's the one I also run on top of my helmet. So I want to top it off. I do have two extra batteries for it, but I'd rather just have it topped off. And um, I don't like swapping batteries. I have the, uh, what they call a media kit or media mod on it. And um, it, it's a little more cumbersome to get the battery out when you have that piece. Otherwise, it's pretty good. So, anyway, just gonna charge it up. All right, don't forget the parking brake. Get mosey on out of here. So I'm, I'm in the off-roading area. Today I'm gonna go down a little bit past the Four Corners staging area, which is part of Coral Canyon uh, off-road. I'm gonna go to this uh, camp, like campsite, see if there's a spot. Um, it's a little more shadier. It may be all taken up by campers because um, it is a Sunday but we'll see I want to set up the tent maybe take a snooze afterwards after the ride I'm only doing like narrow trails today there is a lot of Jeep trails here which those are pretty easy for the quad um, I want to stay on the ones that are limited to quads only. It's to the width of the quad. They're a little more scenic and slower, more fun. Kind of do use the quad for, you know, what it was intended to be used for instead of driving around Jeep roads purpose of the quad is I can get into really tight places and small on small trails and get to see a lot more a lot of cool creeks and oasises and things like that get into the more wooded area which I 
wooded area is a pretty big deal in, here in the desert because you don't get much shade no matter all the rides that I do or all the weekends I do there they're generally always in the sun there is no shade well the campsites look empty you can kind of see down below so there's definitely going to be a spot this is a first come first serve um, campsite or campground I should say it's this one is called uh, Coral Canyon Campground it's in the National Cleveland National Forest this is the entrance to it uh, the cool about this campground is you can camp here and you can ride which I think is the cool thing I see a spot here but it looks like the whole thing's empty so I'm gonna putz around and see if I can find one that's to my liking I um, try this last one It's completely empty. So I can pretty much take whatever spot I want. I'm gonna go down and find get that first shady one. How about that? think this one will work for me. So this is a camp spot. I'm just doing a, a day trip so I'll only be here a few hours but got a pretty good spot here. Get my quad off the truck and look somewhat level.
Well, I'm gonna stop and clear this tree out of the trail. Kind of do my part.
it was a it was a good ride. Did a little bit of a trail. I cleared a tree. Came across a tree that was blocking the trail, so I pulled it. Although my GoPro died halfway through, so I couldn't get the last part of it, but it was still good. I'm about to wrap it up and head back home. Finish some coffee. But this is the uh, the campground I was talking about. This is one of the spots over there. There's some toilets. There's a fire ring at this one. This would be a cool place to camp overnight. But, um, I gotta head back home. But it was good. It was good to get out for the afternoon. All right, all done for the day. I'm um, packed it up, rolling back home. It's uh, about 3.30ish. I should be home by five, I'm guessing. But uh, it was a good little ride. A nice slack afternoon. The one trail was a little rough. Um, that's where I got, I had to step off the quad and actually work, work it. Um, I wasn't anticipating that. I'm a little rusty. I haven't actually rode the quad as much as I would like to um, because when I built the truck I was driving the truck a lot instead of actually driving the quad but so I'm getting back into it I'm starting to sharpen up my skills I took it anyway just to kind of stay current with my skills um, I have been on many black diamond trails on for the quads if it says black diamond for quads I've been on all those now trails that are black diamond for a Jeep are actually very difficult on a quad they're more difficult than a black diamond trail for a quad it's because just the way the rocks are the big boulders and things where Jeep or a vehicle can cross it fairly easily or you know moderately with some skill and effort the quad can't do it if you have a giant you know like a seven foot eight foot boulder you can kind of nudge the jeep to the side of it or something but a quad it can't straddle it it's too small so it's a completely different animal so I try to stay away from black diamond Jeep trails with my quad. Um, I've done them in the past, but it was a lot of work and ultimately end up just turning around and going back. But um, I um, so I stay off of those. I even got to move a tree, came across a fallen down tree over a trail, um, used the winch on the quad to winch it. My biggest problem was the quad wasn't heavy enough. The tree was heavier than the quad, so I kept dragging the quad. I had to keep spinning the wheels and dig in, dig the quad into the dirt. So it would kind of anchor, but even with that, it was still really difficult. I was nudging it. I was totally getting it. Um, it wasn't quite yet to the point where I would have anchored it with a rope. I do carry 100 feet of rope. So I could have just strung out that rope and 
then I could have winched it if the quad was anchored to a tree. The winch on the quad is a 3,500 pound. Um, so, you know, with a 450, let's say, you know, 800 with me on the quad at, at uh, you know, 200 some pounds, you know, I do the math, it's probably close to 700 pounds um, versus the 3,500 pound winch. It's, um, yeah, the winch is going to win. The quad's going to get dragged. So, always if I'm trying to pull something big, like a truck, I have actually in the past had to pull a truck out of the river and did it, but we had to anchor the, the quad to a tree. So, it was pretty good. Anyway, that is it for today. Uh, so until next time, and thanks for watching.